One of the things that you can embed in Adobe Captivate is SVZ graphics with a scalable vector graphics and work around with it as well. To do that, simply go into media right over here and the first option you have uh, above the image is SVZ. So once I click on this, then it'll accept any SVZ file. So on my desktop, I have cake.svz. So I'm just going to open that out right over here. Once I open that out, you can see that the SVZ file gets loaded just like this. So what I can do is I can simply fit this to stays right here. So it actually resizes right over here. So unlike other graphics, what happens is that if I were to resize it, then it readjusts its aspect ratio according to the bounding box, as you can see. So I can have the original size right over here, as you can see, or I can fit a custom size just like this and resize it according to what you need. You can also fit this onto the stays just like this and fit it to the bounding box. So it's totally against the edges, as you can see right over here. You can you also have a slider on how you can work with it just like that. So once you do that, you can see that you can unlock this from fluid box as well, or you can uh, retain the state as well. On slide revisit, you have state view over here. So these are the options which are provided for you to work with. You can also go over here, add an audio, add an, uh, um, to any other objects. But another thing that you have is you can edit this SVZ. So once you click on edit SVZ, it lets you select any application that you want to edit your SVZ with. But in my case, I want to edit this with Illustrator. So I can go into Illustrator uh, programs and then select Illustrator. But since uh, Captivate is from Adobe and Illustrator is from Adobe as well, it works with Adobe ecosystem where you can just click on the stick box and say edit with Adobe Illustrator. Once this is checked off, you can click on edit SVZ. And what happens is that your file is opened up with Adobe Illustrator itself, as you can see. So Adobe Illustrator has been loaded right over here and you can make changes and the changes will reflect over there in the Captivate project as well. So let me just go over here and change something just like this. So over here, this is the file that I'm working with. So let me just go around. And if you want to learn more about Adobe Illustrator and how to uh, work with Adobe Illustrator, you can take a look at my Adobe Illustrator tutorial playlist as well. So I'm just going to go around here, change the color of this cake right over here, as you can see. And now I got a bit of a change right over here on the side, as you can see. So I'm just going to press Control S to save this out. And I'm going to close this. And you can see that the change has been instantly reflected in Captivate project. And this is how you can work with SVZ graphics inside of Adobe Captivate. So hope you guys learn something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.